So here's a list of all the achievements that are in Euro Truck Simulator 2. There are a ton of them as you can see here and I've made this list because really to get all of these in a reasonable amount of time you will want to keep track of everything that you're doing. There are some of these where it's like the industry standard, for example, you have to make two trips to each locomotive furniture and paper mill. Now this is part of the Road to the Baltic Sea DLC. And um, if you don't have that, if you only have the base game, you don't want to worry about these. But if you're wanting all of the achievements and unlocking them, you'll need to keep track of each one of these. And believe me, you're not going to remember how many of these you've been to as you're going through the game normally. So if you want to make sure that you actually unlock everything, then the key is work in advance, get all of these listed out, and then go from there. Now, some of them are gonna just happen automatically. Like the first one, all is possible, 30 different cargo. Um, that's gonna be your 30th trip, you'll have it. Some of these are just gonna take a long time to do, um, like having the 10 female and 10 male employees at max level. That's just gonna take a while for you to build up your employees and have them update their skills now it's easier if you're skipping time if you're just uh, quick traveling between garages and things like that but what i'm going to try to do is actually play the game as much as possible without doing quick travel i will have to do quick travel at least once because there is an achievement um, this one here quick travel to return to your headquarters so i'm gonna have to do that at least once but i'm gonna try and do with as little bit of um, cheesing the game as possible all right, so the first thing we get to do is create our new profile. And we start, uh, you know, first of all, I am a dude. Let's make me a dude in here. And I'll pick this guy because he's kind of similar to me. Um, needs to have a little bit less hair, though, on there. So next up, we get to ch choose our first truck that we're going to start with. And then I always pick Volvo to start with. It's a good workhorse for a truck. It uh, won't matter in the end because we can buy whichever trucks we want and we're going to need to buy at least one from each brand for an achievement because we have to drive it for nearly a thousand kilometers. And then for the company logo, let's go with the fire. Company name time. Well, we're fire, so let's just say in fuego. And we'll go ahead and create this. We'll use the keyboard, simple automatic, finish the wizard. I'll need to do some adjustments as soon as I am able to get to that main menu. But first, we get to pick our headquarters. And um, just as a quick, easy achievement that you want to get, pick Luxembourg. There's an achievement for getting all of the cities within a country owned by you. So if you get Luxembourg, you get that one for free at the very beginning. Go ahead and confirm this for now. Uh, do you want to walk through the tutorial? I do not, so I'm going to hit no on that. And let's keep it on going. All right, so here we go. Welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. At last, you have the chance to experience your dream job, driving a truck. Uh, that's not actually my dream job, but you know, whatever, it's fun in the game. Your own transportation company is now open for business, but sadly, you lack the money to buy a truck. That's true in real life as well as in the game. For now, you'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. I can do that. Your task is to safely deliver a load of floor panels to Pospid Dock in Metz. Your employer has provided you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. Wait, don't let anyone. So if you arrive on time, you will let someone down. I'm sure they mean, don't let anyone down. Arrive on time. Oh, wow. This is all good. Uh, SCS software, I believe, is from um, like the Czech Republic or something like that. Maybe Germany. Somewhere in Europe. So I, I don't think English is their first language. Although that's technically correct in English, too. It's just a little bit weird. Oh, well. I'm making a big deal out of nothing because I'm good at doing that. So we'll be going from Luxembourg to Metz. Yeah, first thing we want to do... Get into our main menu, go into some options, get to the audio, find where the music volume is, get rid of that, and the UI music, get rid of that. So again, the music's not horrible, but it's not good either. And now, actually, I need to go back into the options. Let's go into the gameplay really quick, because I want to make sure we have the fatigue and traffic on. Uh, preferred job links, fine there. We'll want to... 
keep all of these. I want to turn down the random road events. Don't really like them much. We'll put a couple on. And the detour, same thing. Don't really like them. And rain, we'll turn that down as well. Uh, time zones, let's go ahead and put full info on time zones on. And show cutscenes, we'll keep that for now. Eventually we'll want to get rid of that. Uh, breaking intensity, I do want to turn that up a bit. Let's put it about there. Uh, the rest of this should be fine as is. We don't really want advanced trailer coupling. It's fun to do that every once in a while, but we do need to turn on the automatic retarder and the automatic engine brake. We do not want the automatic parking brake. We don't want air brake simulation. I haven't tried realistic fuel consumption, so I'm actually going to see what that does here. Um, this is fine there, but the tolerance I want to change to nothing. And I want to turn off the automatic blinker turn off because I want to control that myself. So the rest of these I think are okay. Um, you can keep the currency the way they that it is on here. All this stuff's fine. I don't mind it being European. Let's go to some keys and buttons though because I want to um, use my mouse here as well. So I'm going to left turn indicator be left button. Okay, it's already on there. So that's already updated for me. Uh, it carried over from when I was testing before. So that's good. I thought I would have to redo that. The other thing I updated is cruise control is going from my mouse wheel as well. So I'll be doing that and everything else should be normal. So with that, I should now be good to go. Let's go ahead and start this going. First of all, we want to turn on some lights. Um, information's fine the way it is. I want to look around, got that. So we will just be going straight out. Carrying this, and we'll turn to the right up here. Again, we want the most difficult parking that we can do. And I think what I'll do is come in and pull around and try to back in there. I don't think I have room to try to reverse from up in here. But this is why this one's gonna be more difficult is because that's way back there. I think I've got some turning radius around in here. discovered a recruitment agency. So what I'll try to do is get this somewhat straightened up. sharper on this turn. I did just miss that truck. I think I might have grazed it, but I didn't get hit with any warnings or anything. Any fines for accidents. push the front over and we got it just barely but it went a little bit over so let's turn that's in place that's good enough I don't need it to be perfect I just need to be in there and as you can see we've got some achievement progress going for careerist and experience beats all 
And, oh, we're almost up to level one already. So we'll go ahead and continue from here. And we should be able to see our dilapidated old garage. This is what we got. This is your headquarters. It's a pretty basic garage for sure. It may not be much, but it's a start. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park there yet, so there are no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you will be able to move in the world freely and run your own business from here. Good luck! Alright, so that's the first trip. We've got 3,362 euros in the can. And that'll do it for today. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day, and peace out.